And, alright guys, here is, is, the final chapter, with most intense action and epic stuff in the whole story, which will make all the flammers and trolls sad that they killed such a god story. It's my life. Chapter 16, Showdown Throwdown. After like 12 weeks, Wheatley and I finished our honeymoon and left the relaxed place, but as I opened door, Terrence was outside and shooting at us. Bloody hell, those sods are wanking us. I ran fast, lick the Scott, and meet the Scott, so the bullets cold and hit me, and Wheatley was robots, so they did not hurt him. Once I was out of their range, I used my powers to make a gun like the Greenland Turn and shooted them all over. The Turin screamed like a screaming thing that screams and they died. What bloody bugger sent a Turrens to sod and kill us now? I thought we killed all the bad guys, Marissa one, Wheatley questioned. I thought hard with my detective powers, but it was too tough. We must search for clues, I decided, and we followed the Turrens' trail. We didn't see no thing for a while, but then I heard a nose. Wheatley and I creeped up slowly to the main room, where Gladys was before she died for real, and I saw... Asaram! Expect I did not know she was Asaram yet because we hadn't met before. Oh my god, save the queen, Marissa. She looks like you, but less hot and pretty and more evil. This was bad news, and she was making more turrets, and even worse, she had the proto-tip portal gun. Ha 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 ha! Now with the prototype portal gun, I can make a portal to Andor Hell and let all the zombies instead from when Atlas and Peabody throw taters in there come out. Asaram goated and shoot portal onto the wall. A bunch of zombies lick from raised and evil, and zombie robots came out looking for me to kill because we had unfinished busyness. Asaram had to be stoked before she called make more bad guys or she won't take over the whole world. Wheatley got really scarred and said, Marissa, this is Sirios. That bloody wanker is making a monster army, and if you don't stop her quick, she'll bloody kill us all. Finn's was looking bad. There was no way I could fight all those guys and some girls too. Then a big TV happened and it showed Asaram's turret and zombie army killing all the city of England. Bloody no! They're killing the queen! Wheatley British, but it was too loud and Asaram heard him. Ah, uh, so you finally arrived, my good twine, Asaram lulled with evil. Who are you? And why do you look like me, but less hot and pretty and more evil? I yelled with angry. I am an evil clone made to kill you, Marissa Roberts, and take over the world. I owe mouth because it all made sense. And since you were too busy... Join sex with your dumb robot ball hubby. I built it a supreme army, and now not even you can stop me from destroying everything. Asram let out the most evil lull I ever heard. <laughs> Oh, well, 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 just see about that. And I used my powers to make a shield and a cannon like on a pirate ship, but smaller, so I could use it like a gun. Boom, 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 bam, the cannon said as I fired it and dust went everywhere. But when the dust cleared, Asaram and the army was still there with the shields. I would have to play it old school to stop them, so I ran fast and did a spin and jump kick, which knocked some zombies' heads off. More zombies got up and put turrets on their heads to shoot and run at both and charge me, so I jumped in the R and used my powers to make an anvil. The zombies got, oh, sh! Asterisk, asterisk, looks on their feces, and the anvil droped down and made them go squish. Very God, Marissa, but will you fight so well when I kill? Your hub sand. Before I called even O mouth, Asaram went charge at Wheatley with all the hate in her eyes and a big punch ready to break him into teeny weeny pieces. But Wheatley used his flashlight and blinded Asaram. Little Wheatley is a powerful bad arse now because I have the power of love. And he jumped off the rail and landed on Asaram's head and gave her a huge boo boo. Go, you'll pay for that, you b asterisk, 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 Asaram meant, but someone got behind her with super speed and hit her in the face with a crowbar. The guy lulled, and I and Asaram both o-mouthed. I am Gordon Freeman, he said, and hit Asaram again, but this time she had a shield. Gordon, Gordon, what are you doing here? I asked with shock and aww. 
I was fighting the bad guys from Half-Life. Sorry, I never played Half-Life, so I don't know much about it. When a boom happened, so I investigated and saw all these bad guys and looked like you needed some help, lol. Gordon punched through some zombies while I riped the turrets off their heads. Wheatley growled a bunch to make us more mad and mean. We had killed like 300 movie reference lol of the bad guys, but the portal was still open and more was coming out. Two zombies shot guns at me, but I grabbed bullets and throwed them back to headshot those. Next, the big zombie with rocket launchers from Raised and Evil came out, and it was the boss fight. Now you will die for sure, Marissa and Gordon Freeman and Willy. No one can stop the biggest zomboy ever, Asaram crackled. Ultimate Zombie used his portal gun to open Anno Portal to Andrewed Hell, and Gordon Fellman in. The other zombies down there tore him into ha- The other zombies down there tore him into two halves and he died. No! Gordon! His wife, Alex, whatever, cried. She couldn't live without her soulmate, so she did suicide with her sword lick the Japanese. Bloody hell! They won't stop coming! Wheatley yelled as more zombies and tear the place. The boss zombie taked out his rocket launcher and shot it at me. It was so strong that it broke my shield and blew me up, but the sheet took most off the blast, so I was only hurt a little. He tried to shoot another bomb, but I was ready this time and started running really fast until... I was behind him. Then I climbed up his back and made a knife and brained him. The ultimate zombie died and asked him O-mouth with a um look on her dumb feces. No one never killed him before. You are a worthy opponent. This was it. Our final showdown. All the zombies and turrets stoked fighting to watch the big battle. Asaram stepped towards me with a portal gun, so made one with huh, my powers. This won't be a nom roll battle. It will be a portal battle. Asaram made the first portal. It was the land of dinosaurs, so we fought over a big volcano, but a trex eat at Asaram, so I was happy, but Asaram explored out of the trex tummy, getting blood and brands everywhere. Then she roundhose kicked me like Chuck Norris, but I made a new portal and we fell into space. We was on the Death Star, and Darth Vader was there. <sighs> oh. Darth Vader, um, so I punched his face off and turned out he was really... Asram. Did you really thought I'd fall for that track? I said, lolling. Then both made another portal, and this one taked us to Portal High School where Gabe slash Cave Johnson, Ratman, and Teen Fortress 2 had lots of weapons and cannons. And Ratman still had the Space Corps and Rick Corps for balls, so he called in to be crotch-punched. Don't worry, Marissa, we're here for backup, they all said really loud. No, guys, this is my fight. Go through that portal and kill all the zombies and turrets instead. So they did. The battle was epic, but I was too busy fighting Asaram to watch and see. Asaram looked really mad and Asarammed me in the stomach where my robot ball slash humming baby was. No! I screamed with mad at the abortion of my babby. This is the final straw, Asram. No more fight. I only kill. My whole body glowed bright gold, and there was a huge boom, and Asram become a skeleton. Then the skeleton died. I was so tired from the fight and power up that I fell down and passed out. When I waked up, I was in the medic doctor room with lots of tubes and IVs and stuff in me. Oh, Marissa, thank bloody God, save the queen, you're all right. Weedley cried and hugged me, which was hard for him to do, because he was a robot ball and didn't have arms. Also, there's something wank and important you need to know. I smiled sadly and said, I know, Weedley. Asram aborted our baby with punch. And I cried some more. No, lol, she's a life. And the medic came in with a little robot ball slash human baby girl smile, and he said it was a miracle. The medic gave me my baby, and I looked into her feces and felt happiest ever. What should me name her, Wheatley asked. Her name will be Chal, in honor of my dead sister. 
I said, and everyone thought it was a good idea. A few moths later, I was all healed up and ready for me and Wheatley and Shale to go back home to Portal Labs. Before we did, the president was there and congratulated me for saving the world and gave me, Wheatley, Gabe Johnson, Ratman, and all Teen Fortress 2 medals. He also taked Atlas' dead robot body and put Wheatley in it, so he called Walk and changed Shell's dippers. Goodbye, my daughter and granddaughter and son-in-law, Wheatley, Gabe Johnson said and hugged me. Marissa, if your mom could see you now and wasn't an evil robot computer, she would be so proud. I smiled with tears and eyes, and me and Wheatley and Baby Chell went through the portal back to Portal Labs for the last time. It was crazy, but it's my life. Epilogue. Meanwhile in space, a black hole opened and shooted Gladys' pieces out. Ha ha, I am still alive. Now I can give my true revenge on Marissa Roberts. Then the zombies from Dead Space was there and Gladys got a oh f asterisk, asterisk, asterisk look on her feces. And the zombies ate her and she died. The end.